YouTube and welcome to your first tutorial on Craft Factory. If you don't know what Craft Factory is, it is a way of industrializing Minecraft and making it easier to craft and smelt items, also traveling items. Now let's show you how to get this downloaded and usable on your bucket server. First go on to the link I gave you in the description, then click this download right here. And this will take you to the latest release that I have to offer, which is, as of right now, version 0.2 pre-release. And this will allow you to use Craft Factory. Just place the jar file in your plugins folder, and you'll be all set. Now let's get to the real stuff, the Minecraft. And... So let me get on that. Let me set this to day so it's easier to see. All right. Obviously it's raining. There we go. Now it should be all better. Okay, so to create a factory is what which I'm going to show you how to make today. You're going to need a couple items. You're going to need wood, which you don't actually need it. It's just the simplest item to use f to hang up your signs, which you do need signs. You need a crafting table, a chest, you need some redstone, and something to power up your redstone. So I believe that is it for now. Yeah, that's it. All right. So we're going to start building your factory. So you place down your crafting table and two chests on each side of the crafting table. Now let's place the sign that says in. This will be your input box. Like let's say we're making sticks, which is what I'm going to show you. You're going to place your planks here and sticks will come out here your input and output. Now you have to type in craft on the sign you put over the crafting table so it's really easy to remember. Now 280 which is the ID for sticks. Now I just created my stick factory. Let's get this powered. You need to power the crafting table. You can't just power the chest, it won't work. Alright, let's get some more planks, they're called. Put that in there, and it's going to do something magical and end out with your sticks. Now this is pretty useful if you just want to make some stuff on the fly. But it gets really useful if you start linking factories together. Like, let's say you want to start just put in logs into a chest and you want to end with doors that can be done very simply with linking factories and this is how it's done and you can link a whole bunch of factories together by just doing this but we're only going to be linking two just to demonstrate what you can do with this you also have to make sure both crafting tables are powered. Let's create the first factory, which is going to be planks. All right. Now this input sign will not change this factory's input to this. It's not going to do anything with this factory at all. All right, let's make doors. Let's see if I think it's that. I am not sure. 24. That was close. Right. Now we have our two factories. Now we need some logs. Get some logs. We only need two to make a door. Put these in here. Now it's going to do its magicalness and come out with one door. We still have some leftover goodies from our logs. 
Now this is quite useful if you want to make some items on the fly. And with the other stuff I'm going to show you in the other tutorials, it also becomes really useful when you fit everything together. So thanks for watching and hope you find this really useful.